Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Araujo here, and I am at Form Factor headquarters. Super stoked to be here. I have been using the Form Factor cabinets for a long time. They have just become a staple in my gig arsenal. The 112L, which is the Neo Form Factor cabinet, has been a staple in my studio. When Form Factor announced that they were coming out with a head, an amplifier, we were all super excited, and this is their 400 watt head that they came out with. They also make a BI-1000, it's a 1000 watt head. It is a Class D amplifier. Class D amplifiers have gotten progressively better and better, but a lot of them are very kind of thin sounding and they don't have that punch that we're used to with normal big amplifiers. These just have a killer punch. I've been testing this, the BI-400 out for the last week or so and it is awesome. I've used it on gigs, I've used it at home for some demos and I am incredibly stoked and happy with just the sounds that you can get. Let me go through some of the front end of this amplifier. You have an active and passive bass input or instrument input. So if you have a super hot output bass, it doesn't necessarily have to be active. It can be an old school Fender P bass that's just hitting your front end really hard. Plug it into the active input and that will be a little bit lower gain. Then you have your normal passive input. If you have a normal uh, output signal bass or instrument, plug into that. You also have a tuner out. You have an effects loop. Um, so it's very, very well thought out. And then up top here, you have a gain. So that sets your input gain. You have a bass, a sweepable mid with your frequencies that you can choose. You have treble, you have an onboard limiter, and you have a master volume, and an incredible front of house studio engineer friendly button, the mute. So we're pushing a lot of power. Even though this is a class D 400 watt head, it is, going to be peaking at more than that. So having a limiter is really nice. Kind of a soft limiter, it sounds good. It's still musical and it's not, it's not one of those things that you don't, where you don't have control of your dynamics. It's, it's a musical limiter and it's gonna protect your <laughs> speaker cabinets because these little amps are going to produce some some nice power. Uh, the other thing I should mention also is that it was nice to cut some of these frequencies and actually give that old school sound. When I was trying out the non-neo, the ceramic 112, it really mimicked that old school 360 amp, that old school vintagey vibe. So you can definitely get it with this gear. It's not all you know modern twingy, you know sparkly top. You can definitely get that big bottom end and. I, uh, I really, I like this head and I like it through the Neo cabinet too, which I, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of the Neo cabs the more I play them. Um, I cannot wait to get the actual real production model in my hands and you can go to thebasshang.com. I will have demos, I will have direct recordings of it and uh, it'll more than likely just be a staple at the Bass Hang Studios because I really like this gear. It really translates the sound of what you're playing into the cabinet and out to, for everyone to hear. So anyways, hope you guys had fun. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to their new amps. All right, see you guys. Old school. You get so much control, and I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I mean, that's cut. <laughs> sounds good, man. It sounds so good. Yeah, that 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 sweepable mid range is is use, is so usable, yeah. and it's almost like one of those things you can just dial it in. It's it's quick too. Those are all they were completely usable sounds. Yeah. Sounded great. So like if you did have to dial something out or up to an extreme to deal with a yeah. room, you still have a good sounding amp. It know. reminds me of an old, um, like a like a channel strip, like a Neve channel, yeah. like a like you get in there and yeah. you get that mid-range, man. It's it's really great, man. Cool. Kind of in the ballpark. <sighs> Thank that. you. Sorry, I just started I just started going off. I was like, man, th like this sounds really freaking good, man. Yeah. Did you get some of that? Yeah. Yeah, nice.